here we are tonight, Lord, as we embark on the first family digging deep journey. Lord, whatever manifestation is awaiting, may we receive strength to enter into it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Give us strength, Heavenly Father, to enter into any manifestation that is awaiting us in this season of digging deep in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Father, if we arrive, these people don't have a problem. They don't have a problem in bringing us from heaven. The only problem they have is the manifestation of a, Madame Elizabeth. It's to see Madame Abiola manifesting. So they are ganging up against us, Heavenly Father. They have come again to say these ones cannot manifest. If we allow this one to grow, we will not have anything to report in our kingdom. Lord, the time has come. The season is now. Where you need to glorify yourself in our midst. And therefore, Lord, your word said the word is waiting. For the endless manifestation of the sons of men. They are not waiting. They are not waiting for our arrival. They know our arrival will not give them any problem. But our manifestation is a serious problem unto them. And therefore arise on behalf of this family tonight. Arise on behalf of each family represented tonight. And begin to show yourself Amen. mighty. In the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. I say arise in your power. Arise in your strength. Arise in your mind and begin to show yourself great tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You see, the Bible said where we read the other time, first John 2 for first John chapter 2, verse 14. He said, I have written unto you, fathers, because ye know him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you young men. Anytime you see young men in the Bible, he is not referring to the male gender. Neither is he referring to the female gender. He is referring to every young people. He said, I have written unto you fathers because you know that which is from the beginning. And I have written unto you young men, meaning both male and female, because you are strong. And abide that in the, in the word of God. It means that everybody has a letter. Your daddy has his, uh, his own letter. Then we young people, we also have our own letter. Oh, but sometimes ago, our father went to bow down in front of the idols. Say, please protect me. And they didn't know that they were taking commitment on behalf of everybody in their loins. You keep wondering, how did this problem keep arising? What have I done wrong? You did not know that sometimes ago, your grandfather went to bow in front of an idol. He said, please protect me. As he is taking the commitment, he is also taking commitment on behalf of everybody in the loins. So you now came to the world, start, start seeing these problems. You didn't know that somebody took a commitment on your behalf. And that is why we are digging deep into every family. So we are picking each family one by one every night. And we are dealing with the root cause. Oh, a prophet said, Joshua said, on behalf of my family, as for me and my family, we will serve the Lord. If it means, it means that somebody can take a commitment on your behalf and you will not know. It means that you can be suffering from something that somebody took on your behalf. Our grandfather took a commitment and now we are all victims of it. 
Joshua said, as for me and my family, he took a commitment on behalf of his family. Oh, Father, whatever commitment has been taken on our behalf, knowingly and unknowingly, ah, say with me tonight, say with me, say, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. I can't hear you say I stand on behalf of my step and my family. So break any commitments. So break any commitments. Take it on my behalf. Take it on my behalf that is now affecting my family. Any commitment, take it on my behalf that is now affecting my family. I stand tonight. I stand as the seer over the family. I stand to break it tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to break it tonight. I open your mouth and begin to break it tonight. Every commitment, every commitment, take it on behalf of me and my family. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. One thing is very clear. He said, I have written unto you fathers. The father has their own letter. I have written unto you young people. Young people too have their own letters. So the father took their own letters to the idols. They took a commitment. But Bible said that how about you young people? Can't you wake up in the midnight and take a charge? Can't you speak to the mountain and say the mountain be moved? Every member of the family has a letter. Your father has taken his own letter. Now you cannot blame him. It was a period of darkness. It was a period whereby people did not know what they have done. But now you too have your own letter in your own hand. What have you done with your own letter? He said, I have written unto fathers. I have also written unto you, your people, because you are strong. You are strong means you have what it takes to break every plague. You are strong means that the strength to kill the plague is in your hand. You are strong means that you have endurance to push through until the warrior's garment come over you. In the midst of the prayer tonight, you are going to be receiving some warrior's garment. You are going to be receiving the garment of David. You are going to be receiving the garment of David in this prayer tonight. Whereby you can say unto this mountain, be moved and they will be moved. Whereby you can speak to the rivers and the overflowing waters, and they will give way for you without any trouble. I say tonight, I say tonight, say with me, say, I'm, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. So break every yoke, my God. With this letter in my hand. With this letter in my hand. My God. I break every yoke. I break every commitment. Take it on behalf of my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth. Begin to walk around your house now. Begin to walk around your house. Break every commitment. Break every commitment. Every commitment taken on behalf of my family. I break it, Lord. I break it, Lord. I break every commitment. I break every commitment. Every commitment. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen to me and I want you to listen very well. Uh, Isaiah 49, 24 to 26 says something. 
He said, shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? He was asking a question. He said, look at my people. Shall this prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive delivered? Underline the word lawful. The word lawful means that you are the one that came to me for assistance. And now you are giving me legal rights over your family. That is the that is the meaning of lawful. Some of some of some of some of our fathers have gone to have gone to Shango in those days. Some of some of them have gone to Arumila in those days. And he said, "Is it my fault? Are you not the one that come to me? He said, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? You are the one that came to me, or all the lawful captive be delivered." You are the one that made yourself a lawful captive. My God. You are the one that turned yourself into a lawful captive. I didn't ask you. But look at what he said in verse 25. He said, but thus say the Lord, even the captive of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. Look at what he said. There is a strategy he said. There is a strategy, he said, even though your father went to go and take a commitment on your behalf, which made it lawful to attack you, because nobody can attack you if there is no account, there must be something that has made it possible. Because when God made everybody, he said everything that he made was good. If there is any aberration, it means that somebody else have laid hold on a law that you don't know. It means that somebody else has, has taken charge of a law that you are not privileged to. But look at the way forward. He said, with the letter in your hand, because you are young, he said, for I will contend with him that contended with thee. And he said, and I will save your children. Mm. Oh, please take time before we pray tonight. I want you to have a bit of understanding. Who is contending? Who are we saving? <laughs> that is where you should understand what Bible says. Who is the one fighting? Who is the one God is saving? He said, I will contend with him that contend with thee, and I will save your children. Listen, he didn't say, I will save you, he didn't say, I will save me. He said, I will save your children. Should that not suggest something to you? Should that not open you to something? That is a dimension in the realm of the spirit. What he's saying is that the more you fight now, the more I will save your children. Hallelujah. <laughs> he's saying that even though your father sold you out to captivity, even though your father went to bow down in those days, Every home in Africa has an idol in those days. So don't come here and claim that you are, you are a saint. Every home in Africa in those days have their own idol. They have their own God that they worship. But he said, even though I have given your, your father his own letter, how about you now that you have your own letter? What have you done with your letter? He said, but the way you are going to do it is this. He said, I will contend with him that contended with thee. And I will save your children. It is not you that fight that is going to save, even though you will have the victory. But you will see the ripple effect on your children. Say with me tonight. Say with me tonight. Ah, say with me tonight. Everywhere I have given a, these altars, Everywhere I have given negative altars, access to my family, knowingly and unknowingly. Everywhere I have given negative altars, access to my family, knowingly or unknowingly. Again, everywhere I have given negative altars, access to my family, knowingly or unknowingly. Tonight, tonight, the blood is against you. 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 Everywhere I have given these orders. Everywhere I have 
are giving these altars access knowingly or unknowingly. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. In Jesus' name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Did you notice how our Father has given them access? Did you notice how we are now victims of what we are suffering from now? Our father went to seek for air. They said, oh, there is a war coming against my village. They said, they, they, they said, idol, can you save me? The idol said, don't worry, I will save you. Bow down for me. And they bow down. As they are bowing down, everything inside them, because you have been in their loins, everything inside them was bowing down. And the idol said, don't worry, you are taking a commitment. No wonder Joshua said, as for me and my family. If, if Joshua can take a commitment on behalf of the family, it means that our fathers too in the realm of the spirit can also take a commitment on our behalf. And that is why he said, contend with those that contend against thee. However, it is your children I will save. So if you are not fighting now, the person that will suffer, you are not the one that will suffer it. You are not the one. It is the children that will suffer if you don't stand in the gap. Go to verse 26. Verse 26 said, And I will fill them, after you have successfully contended, I will fill them that oppress thee with their own flesh. Amen. Say amen. He said, And they shall be drunken with their own blood. Say amen. He said their own blood will be sweet as wine in their mouth. Say amen. amen. He said, and all flesh I know that I am thy savior. He said, of and the redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob, in the mighty name of Jesus, may they be fed with their own flesh. May they be drunken with their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You see, sometimes when you read when you read English, you may not understand too much. Let me read it for you in Yoruba so you can understand. Listen to it. He said, Emiyo ki awo aninilara. Look at it. He said, Emiyo mu ki awo aninilara je arawo. Emi yo muki awo anini lara je era ara wo. Say amen. He said one yo si mu one yo si mu eje eje ara wo one yo si mu eje ara wo. I therefore decree tonight, everyone troubling your family. Everyone that has refused to let your family go, let them begin to eat their own flesh, drink their own blood, eat their own flesh, drink their own blood, eat their own flesh, drink their own blood, eat their own flesh, drink their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, so it means that it means that in the realm of the spirit, we have ten more minutes, please. It means that in the realm of the spirit, every family has an altar. You know, I was coming back from work today. Then somebody called me from from somewhere. He said, "He said, Pastor, I want you to pray for my wife." I said, "Okay, tell your wife to put the hand on the tummy." And the wife put the hand on the tummy, and immediately Holy Spirit told me, "Say, ah, this one they are looking for. They are looking for children." And I said, oh, pastor, I said, your wife is looking for children. He said, yes, sir. He said, but how did you know? I said, that's what Holy Spirit told me now. He said, please pray for us. Exactly, that is why we ask you to pray. We are actually looking for children. And I said, God said, in the next four months, he will give you a baby. You see, but how, how, how did they come by? There was an altar. There was an altar that is standing against them. The, the altar can allow you to go through university. It doesn't have a problem. The altar can allow you to even start working. It doesn't have a problem. But the moment you want to do something that has not been done before in your family, then the altar will now demand. He will say, look at it. The hour has come. The time has come. Let us make our demand. You see, 
The mm-hmm. altar has a way. It will allow you to be a virgin. You will marry as a virgin. But it will not have a problem. Suddenly, whenever it comes to you looking for a baby, the altar will demand. It will say, and everybody will not be wondering, ah, was she actually a virgin? Meanwhile, she actually married as a virgin. It wasn't as if she was promiscuous. But now the altar is standing. And they are saying that we will not allow you to have a baby. But let me tell you the good news tonight. Let me tell you the good news tonight. The good news is that you have another letter. <laughs> that letter with you is a document. It's an evidence. Yako Pelika Rante Kosita Yandegerebo Sata Boli Sekeri Takaro Belika Dasata Rateke Rose Kapalikede Zakata Kata Kata Yelekos Epralea Marele Kode Sata. I stand as one of the seers of this entire generation. I stand over everybody gathering this Jerusalem now. Every personality, every individual that is saying that you will not make a progress. I stand tonight that the yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. Let the ground open and swallow them up immediately. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I, I want your amen to resound because I want to switch to the family that belongs to today. You know, starting from today, we have each family. We are programmed a family for today. Starting from 12.30 to 1. This is the general prayer. After the general prayer, we will switch to each family. One by, so we take the family one by one like that. Until it gets to your turn. Don't worry, it will get to everybody's turn. You see, we have to deal with the root cause. We have to know why we are not making progress. There is something somewhere that we have not discovered. There is something somewhere that must be discovered. There is no problem that does not have a solution. Every problem. You are permitted to face problem, but you are not permitted to fail. Bible said that even though the storm may rage, he said they can rage, but you are not permitted to be consumed in the storm. Oh, Job Job said, Job said, I know that even despite this storm, I know my Redeemer liveth. And God restored him in double fold. Uh, But I've come tonight with a good news for you. Hmm. Hallelujah. The day you face the battle with what it takes to win, you win. The day you face with battle with what it takes to conquer, you conquer. And the enemy yes. begins to suffer from your hand. And every member of your family will suddenly begin to see a turnaround. I therefore decree tonight that in case you have been suppressed for too long, in case you have been put under bondage for too long, as we engage in this family series, uh, every lawful captive, every lawful captive, you are delivered tonight in the name of Jesus. He said, Shall the lawful captive of the mighty be set free? He said, Even though you are held captive, maybe your mother went to go and talk to somebody, and the person is now using that information against you. He said, even though you are held captive by lawfully by the words of mouth, it maybe it was your father that went to bow down to those idols those days, saying that please protect my village now. Don't allow war to kill my village. And the idol said, We will protect your village. However, your generations to generations, your generations to generations, they must come and be bowing down for us. The Bible said that don't worry, even though you have been held captive lawfully. Even though your womb has been taken away lawfully because of the pledge from the grandparents, because from because of the pledge, you know, you can there is a particular territory you come from. They said everybody from that territory they have anger problem. All of them is anger. All of them is anger. It wasn't because they wanted to have anger, it was because that was the commitment given by the gods of the land those days. It was because the God that said, okay, we are going to favor you. But everybody from this land must have anger as, as a sign of our commitment. You see, 
Everybody from that place, you will just see that they, are, uh, uh, they will just be unnecessarily annoyed. Anger, anger, yes. anger. It was the commitment. I therefore stand tonight as we round up. In the name of Jesus. What is the commitment that has been taken on your behalf? Oh, that has held you down lawfully? Oh, Who is this oh, that they have discussed your matter with? And is using that information against your advancement. Arise, oh God of heaven tonight. Arise, oh God of heaven tonight. And begin to break every commitment. In the name of Jesus. Let the wind around you hear my voice. Yes. Let the water around you hear my voice. Yes. Let the moon, the stars, the sky, yes. let the land, the land hear my voice. Uh, oh, ye ancestral land of Lagos, hear the voice of God. Yes. If there be any programming, I waiting to catch up with your people. Oh, ye ancestral land of Italy, hear the voice of God. If there be any programming, we are waiting to catch up with people there. Is it in America? Is it in Australia? Everywhere in the world. I speak to the land. So far, there is land there. Hear the voice of God, your maker. Everything acting contrary to the advancement of these people. I decree tonight, let the yoke be broken in the name of Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. We want to take a commitment tonight. We have just two minutes to do that. If you have water in your house, put it on the floor. Put your right leg on it. If you have anointing oil in your house, drop it on the floor. Put your right leg on it. We want to break something tonight. Makasite yelikada. Makaro sete. Don't waste time. Don't waste time. Rakada. Poli kesita. Rateko sifra lekada ba. Marole kere shata. Hurry up. Hurry up. One minute. We want to enter into the family tree now. Put your leg, put your right leg on it. Can you be just say that? Drop the bottle of oil. Drop a bo- drop something like a oil on the floor, and put your right okay. leg on it. If you have water, drop it on the floor. If it is if it is water you have, drop it on the floor. Put your leg on it. Uh, put your right leg on it. Are you ready now? My Are God. The water? Just okay. drop it on the floor. Pour some pour something on the floor. Pour a drop of it on the floor. Hurry up. Are you ready tonight? Yes, I put some leg on it. Am I right? Yeah, put your right leg on it. Mark Kazata. Okay, sir. Okay. Oh. Are you ready tonight? We want to break yeah, the family yeah. plague. We want to break the yoke. Say with me, everybody. Say, I stand as a witness in time, before heaven and before earth. Say with me. Say, I stand as a witness in time. Before heaven and before earth. Whatever commitment has been taken on behalf of my family, my God. Tonight, 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 tonight. As my leg is touching this oil, as my leg is touching this water. Let it be a new covenant before God and before man. Let it be a new covenant before heaven and before man. The yoke is broken in the name of Jesus. 
Father. You see, let me tell you, the, this, these are not the prayers that we can stop immediately. You know, please, I will just say, you, Lord God, continue to pray. I want to switch to the family that owns tonight. Don't forget, please, our our YouTube channel is Apostolic Prayer Chain. Apostolic Prayer Chain on YouTube. Every prayer is uploaded daily, so that 5 a.m. you can pray it again on your own, without disturbance. Please, go and subscribe to Apostolic Prayer Chain on YouTube. Apostolic Prayer Chain. We are going to upload this prayer there. And please, take your time to pray it on your own. Before we go tonight, I decree as a witness in time that every yoke in your family, the plague is broken now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God bless you. See you tomorrow. I want to switch to the other. There's a family that I have today. I want to quickly switch there.